So the attack on Kaduna Abuja train uh, uh, bears the semblance of ISIS and Boko Haram. And then it's also important that people understand the difference between terrorists and bandits. Well, bandits are also terrorists, but the difference in their operation is that these four groups, Boko Haram, Iswap, Ansaru, and Darussalam, they have an Islamist jihadist agenda, which is uh, to capture state power and uh, impose an Islamic state on Nigeria. In, on Nigeria. But bandits are only involved in kidnapping for ransom. So when bandits attack, they take on hostages, and when you pay them a ransom, they release your hostage. And then, but in case of this terror Islamist group, uh, hostage, ransom for hostage is not their major agenda. They are only have a political agenda. They have a theocratic agenda. So it means that when they raid a village, uh, they want to preach, they convert, sometimes even they induce the population with money. And both the Islamists and the terror group are virtually not in, uh, 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 they are at war. Uh, the, the, the Islamists and the bandits are at war with each other because their objectives are quite different. If you can remember, there was an attack in Kasana on government secondary mm -hmm. school Kankara. Well, that was done by bandits. And then at that time, the bandits tried to reach out to, the, the, the Boko Haram tried to reach out to the bandits. But it's difficult for the bandits and the Islamists to work together because the bandits are basically about money. And then the Islamists are about uh, uh, establishing a state for theirs. So, and there is still rivalry between Boko Haram and the Iswa. So, you can see that uh, bandits, uh, when they attack worshipping places, whether it is mm. church or mosque, is to take mm. hostages for ransom. But when terrorists attack, they have the intention of conversion. For example, in, in parts of Kaduna State, you have places controlled by bandits, you have places controlled by Islamic, Islamist terrorists. In areas of Benungwari, it's mostly Islamist terrorists, and that is why you see them issuing statements that nobody should go into campaign, uh, forcing people that they must go to Friday prayers, and also imposing tax, and uh, also moving into the hinterlands and preaching. That is all Islamist terror groups. And sometimes during Ramadan fasting, they share grains. Uh, they go in enlightening people and indoctrinating and winning over people. Uh, the difference between them and bandits is that you will not find them uh, raping women and molesting women because they portray themselves to be Islamists trying to purify the society and cause Islamic state. But the bandits are involved in this act. So the network is developed. The, the headquarters of the bandits uh, is Zamfara State where you have the leaders of the group like uh, Ben Loturji, Manjagara, Aleri, and others. Uh, the attack on Bethel Baptist High School in Karina was done by bandits. The attack on Greenfield University in Karina was done by bandits. The attack on the Federal College of American Admission in Karina was done by bandits. And you can see, each time the bandits attack, they take their hostages from the area where they kidnap them, to Zampara because Zampara has become like a hub, like a headquarters of bandits. But the Islamists are mostly headquartered in Niger State. So they control territories and uh, sometimes they fight between each other. 